All right, we rolling. All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaq with Dash. We want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the pushing of work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, uh, got the brother Shamyar, okay, from the uh, GMS Baltimore camp, and uh, myself, Taza Warrior, from the GMS Baltimore camp. And we're going to go in to this lesson uh, titled, So Shall We, and So Shall We Ever Be with the Lord, okay? And uh, that's basically, you know, the, the, what we're, what we're aiming for in this truth, okay? We're fighting to be with Yahweh Shah, okay? And guess what? Yahweh Shah was fighting to be with us also. You know, when you, when you go into the scriptures and you, you're looking at things from a spiritual uh, aspect, okay? A lot of the stuff that Yahweh Shah was saying back then was for, for the things that we're going through today, okay? And, and, and Yahweh Shah, Pray for us, okay, that our faith don't fail. You know, the scriptures the scriptures speak about Yahweh Shah is with us even until the end of the the, 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 the uh, earth. Okay, so you have to believe in that. Okay? And, and guess what? When the end of this 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 world or this age that we know today, okay, uh the end of uh, Esau's reign, then that's when Yahweh Shah is going to come in and we're going to reign, Lord willing, and if we're the, we're of the elect, we're going to reign with Yahweh Shah also, you know? So, but um, if you got any points you want to say, or, or if you got that scripture, you know, you can go ahead and bring it out. Right? Con, yeah, I got a real quick point. You said um, uh, it's not going to be, well, to add to what your point you made, it's not going to be like a one-sided relationship like you would have in this world. With uh, uh, with these 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 two third men, and, or a relationship like you would have with a woman, like it feel like you're the only one putting your all in it. You know, it's two sided. You know, you want to put your all in it. If you putting your all into your Yahweh Shem Shah, he's going to put his all in to you as well. God, uh, yeah, you got you got it. Uh, if you got the scripture, God, this is John seventeen, and I'm gonna start at verse fourteen. It says, I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. Yeah, and that's, that's talking about the elect, the ones that's pushing this, this, this truth, okay? And the ones who's really pushing this truth is Great Millstone, okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of people that uh, we know personally, okay, whether it's family, friends, they hate us. You know, because we're actually doing something right. You know, a lot of a lot of um, people in this world are in the darkness. You know, and the, the scriptures talk about people love darkness rather than light. You know, and they look at the so-called white man as though he ha he has all of the answers. Huh. Okay, because they look at him like he has he he has the light. You know, That's right. When the scriptures the scriptures really speak about Yahweh Shah is the one who who has the light. You know. Not, not with the, the, the so-called white man, okay? Right. But you got it, up. Huh? It says, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Yeah, Yahweh Shah, okay, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, was not of the world, okay? And any any uh, man that's a part of the elect, okay, you, you're going to have a conscience, okay? Before you can, can come into this truth, yeah, it's something in the world that just doesn't click with you, okay? And, and you you have this this mindset like, why, why why don't I get along with a lot of these people, okay? Because guess what? You're not of the world. Now you're coming to this truth, and everything just starts to make sense. Uh -huh. You know, you, you you don't have that um, being a loner type of uh, feeling anymore because you have people, okay, that are that are on the same page or accord with you to try to get to the kingdom okay and and those are the men that Yahweh Shah prays for okay but you got it out Khan want me to continue on yeah Khan this is verse 15 it says I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world again that's the elect 
but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. Yeah, and if you ever got any point, I, you know, you go ahead and make make the point, you know. Time, but time. the um, when it say, but thou should should keep it them uh, from from the evil. Okay, that's what the thermonuclear missiles. Okay, which the you know we 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 coming upon a time with the the famine that's about to happen. Now, one of the scriptures that 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 comes to mind. Okay, is uh, Romans the uh, eighth chapter, and um, it's the what is it? Let's say the twenty. I mean, thirty fifth verse. If you can get that, Con. This is Romans eight and thirty five. Who shall separate? Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? You know. Yeah. So you got it. Oh, go ahead. If you got, if you want to make the point, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say real quick. You say, "Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach?" You know, if you fully and, and you, you fully connect into the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah, neither tribulation, distress, persecution, or none of these things named are going to separate you from him. Because you're you're actually submitting yourself to the will of Him, so if you were if you was fully submitted to the will of the world, these are the things that's going to overtake you, whether it be in a day of time of Jacob's trouble, or even before we even get there. Because you know, uh, you you can, you can you can succumb to a famine. Now we're in a famine because this food that we eating isn't real. You know, this air is polluted. Okay, it's, it's many things. The sword can take you right now. You could be one of them victims of a police shooting if the Lord wasn't with you. Yeah, if you don't love Yahweh Shah, you right. know. But that's that's a part of the evil that the Lord is going to keep the men of the Lord from. But if if some evil does touch you, that evil saying separates you from from actually loving the Lord, you know. That's right. Like like that that mark of the beast. When that mark of the beast is made mandatory, that says separates you from from the Lord, no matter what you go through. Okay, but you got it out because that's what we're fighting for. When you're outside, uh, to, when he comes back, that we we're, we're counted worthy, huh. you know, of, of actually being with him. And and those people that that are with you outside during that that time, okay, are the ones that he's praying for, the ones that he want he want to be with. You know, you was it's a it's a, a blessing, okay, that you that you if you if you're in this truth and you get called, you know. That shows that Yahweh wanted you. He wanted your spirit. You know, you was you you were precious unto the Lord. You know, even though we supposed to have this mindset that you know we you know we we all gonna fall short, but the fact is that the Lord wanted you. You know, and that's a blessing. You know, when when Yahweh Shai comes back, and and you're one of those ones that the Lord prayed for. That's right. You know, but you can keep going. Keep going on at Romans or go back to John. Yeah, John, John 17. Con, this is John 17, and I'm going to pick back up on verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy, um, through thy truth. Thy word is truth. All right, keep going. As so thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. Yeah, so that's what we out here to, to, to do, to, to preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay? You see that, that, that the world, okay, is, is beating everybody down, okay? <laughs> and, and a lot of people got this crab in a barrel mentality, you know? But the fact is that you, you this truth gets you up out of that barrel, man, huh. you know? It, it, and... and we 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 just hope that what we're doing is 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 found um, worthy, okay, for Yahweh Shah, okay. But if you are the elect, you that that's it's either yes or no, right. you know. But you still want to make sure that you're doing the right things to when when the Lord comes back that you found you found worthy. That's right. You know, but you you got it out. It says uh, continuing on and and for their sakes. I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Hey, jump down to the 
24th verse. Khan, this is verse 24. Uh, Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. And this is what, this is your side praying for the elect. Because the scripture said that the Lord pray for, pray for dummy, don't pray for the, pray for the world. Right. Okay, but, but Yahweh said, said, ask Yahweh, the most high, okay, that he wants those, those, those elect, those precious elect, okay, the beloved, to be with him where he is. Right. Okay, but keep going. Uh, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. Yeah, so, hey, when Yahweh saw comes back, right? You know how beautiful of a sight that's going to be? God, he's going to share his glory with his he let, men that he chose, him, man. That, and, and, you know, a king really don't have to share his kingdom with his subjects. But he's not looking at us as subjects, man. He's looking at us as uh, uh, joint heirs and partakers of his glory, man. But he, with him, getting all the glory, you know? God. And that's what the scriptures say, that he's going he to come, be coming with that glory, you know? And and it's going to be to the point where it's like, you know, like, yes, like, you know, finally, like, the the, the, the hell is off of me, God. you know? When, when Yahweh Shah comes... Of course, you're going to have that fear, like, a a am I worthy to, to, to get called up? You know? Uh, 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 like, that sight of, of Yahweh Shah coming, okay, is more, more, um, scary than them thermonuclear missiles coming down. That's right. God. You know? Because that's, that's our only escape up out of this hell. God. You know? So, so when Yahweh Sire comes back and, and we see him, you know, that's, that's, that's like the thermal, if, if you ain't of the, 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 if you ain't of the Lord's elect, that's like a, a missile already uh, killing you anyway, right. you know, huh. that's like you already died anyway. Yep. But, but that's, that's, that's enough of, 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 you know, shedding tears and, and just breaking down, you know, so that. That, that when the Lord comes back, that you end up getting beamed up out of here, man. And if you do get beamed up, you're going to be with the Lord forever, man. Right. You know? You got it out. It says, For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. And, you uh, go uh, Con, uh, O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou has sent me. Yeah, and that's that's why we 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 keep continue to pray, okay, and to fast, okay, because you know we know that Yahweh 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 sent Yahweh Sah, but this this fight, you know, it's going to be a fight all the way until the end, man. You know, this is something that we 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 like got our all our hopes on, you know. Like, like, you meditating on it day and night, you know what I'm saying, you just, you, if you really into this, 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 this truth, you always, you always make it, so, you want to make sure that you, you're doing the right thing, uh. you know, so, so, so when the Lord comes back, he's like, yeah, I was proud of you, man, you know, I seen what you was doing, you know, and, and so, hey, he, because the scriptures talk about that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, so he sees everything, man. You know, and he he rewards you at the same time. You know, but hey, can you get that John fourteen and um two? Come, uh, Bubba Kassar. John fourteen. Let me start at two. Yeah. Uh, Con, this is John fourteen and two. Yahweh Shah speaking. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. <laughs> and that's that, that you know, <laughs> every brother is going to have their own piece of heaven, man. Okay, right. whatever makes you happy. You know, every every brother is going to have that. Huh. You know, and the Lord knows what makes you happy. That's right. And and, and that's still Yahweh Shah serving us. He's preparing it for us, man. You know? Like, when you come over to somebody's house, you know, they, they get things ready for you to come because they know they're having guests. You know, yeah. when Yahweh Shah came, he served us, man. And yet, 
he's still serving us, man.